What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or even give it a thumbs up now while you're thinking about it. Thank you guys so much. And right now I want to talk about five of the coolest wreck dives in Florida. So let's go. Hmm? Critter Hunter. All right guys, so Florida has some amazing diving from reef dives around the Keys or awesome shark dives or black water dives around West Palm Beach and even Jenny Springs and other cenote type dives and caves. But what I like the most when I go to Florida is the awesome wreck diving. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you a few of my favorite wrecks and then for the last two, I've contacted uh, awesome youtuber that I'm sure all of you guys know and I'm gonna get his recommendations for the last two So let's get into it Number one So number one I gotta go with the Oriskany wreck the Oriskany is in the far north It's about an hour's boat ride from Pensacola and it's the biggest artificial wreck dive in the world. And not only is it the biggest artificially sunk wreck in the world, it's also the only aircraft carrier that is now an artificial reef. This carrier, which served both in the Korean and Vietnam Wars, was put to rest in the Gulf about 20 miles south of Escambia County. But some ambitious divers can get there from Alabama as well. This is one of the coolest dives in the entire world, and so it's definitely the top one in Florida if you can get there. And at 888 feet, and between depths of 50 to 20 meters, it's going to take you quite a few dives to explore it all. But it's definitely, definitely worth the trek. And if you're lucky, hell, even if you're not lucky, you're probably going to see sharks, barracudas, and all kinds of critters around the wreck. Number two. So for number two, let's go all the way down to the Florida Keys and talk about the Spiegel Grove. This enormous wreck was actually used in the recover recovery of Apollo 14. <laughs> so that history is awesome, but the wreck itself is amazing as well. First, a funny story about the Spiegel Grove. When authorities finally decided to demolish the ship and turn it into a huge artificial reef in the Keys, they took extra precaution because of the location. A recycling company was hired and it took nearly a decade to flush all of the tanks and remove about 400,000 feet of cable. They also welded some doors and hatches shut, they widened others to make better entries for divers, and just cleaned up the whole thing and made it safe. So after nearly a decade of preparations, the ship was ready to be flooded, but it sank prematurely and fell on its side. Not only did it fall on its side, but it washed into a really bad area where it was too deep for most divers and in a really, really currenty area. Basically, nobody would ever be able to get to it. It was all that preparation and planning and millions of dollars wasted. So that is one crazy story and I bet a lot of people got fired and a lot of divers cried, but somebody was praying to the scuba gods because a tropical hurricane came by the Keys and not only did it upright the ship, but it took it closer to, to pretty much exactly where it was supposed to go to where it is now in the perfect location for the diving. So now it's easy to dive at any level and easy to get to. So that was super lucky. Now there's tons of critters it's a huge ship to explore. Uh, it's got local resident groupers that are huge. Huge schools floating around, sometimes some turtles. It's just an awesome dive to explore when you're in the Keys. Definitely not one to miss. Number three. 
So the next up on my list is the Vandenberg Wreck. So this is one of my favorite dives in the whole world, and it just so happens to be, behind the Oriskany, the number two biggest artificial wreck in the world. And it just so happens to be in Florida. So the Vandenberg is so massive, and it's actually really close to the Spiegel Grove. Obviously, it's out of Key Largo, Key, Key West maybe, and all the dive centers will take you there. Um, in fact, all the dive centers I went to, they asked if I wanted to do the Wreck Trek, is what they called it, which takes you to all the best wrecks, including Spiegel Grove and the Vandenberg and the rest that are going to be on this list. But the Vandenberg is so massive. I love that dive. Usually it has a massive flag on the pole on the front of the boat. It's massive, and it's really popular for divers to, uh, to take pictures next to. Uh, but it also has this huge, huge satellite uh, that you can dive into and take your photo there. So that is super popular as well. So this is, of course, it's covered in marine life and crustaceans and stuff like that. But it's, it's definitely one of my favorite dives, in the, or wreck dives, in the whole world. So I could talk all day about amazing dive sites and wrecks around Florida, but I thought to myself, who knows better than the experts, the local divers that dive these wrecks every day. So I thought to myself, you know what, Justin, I'm going to talk to the one and the only James Blackman from the YouTube channel Divers Ready. And I'm going to ask him what his favorite are. Originally, I was just going to ask him for one of his favorites, but we got to talking so long, he listed so many, I'm just going to go with number four and five. So here's my interview with James Blackman from Divers Ready. How's it going, James? Hey, Justin, how are you, mate? Good, how are you? Good, good, good to see you. Early here, late there, but yeah. it's coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good old quarantine. So, yeah, so my so yeah, so my favorite wrecks in and around uh, the Florida coast, actually it's kind of two of them, so you get two for one on your point number five, and that's the Bib and the Duane. Um, so that's two two wrecks that are essentially the same dive but different, and what I mean by that is they're sister ships, they're United States Coast Guard cutters, they were patrol vessels, they would cruise up and down the coast looking for trouble, uh, and they sank them off of Key Largo in about 25 to 35 meters of water, that's about... Uh, what, 80 to 110 feet. Um, and they're, they're just fantastic wrecks to dive, but the beautiful thing is they're only about 250 yards apart, and you get to do the same exact ship, one sitting on her keel perfectly on the sand, and the other one lies on her starboard side. I had to think about that for a second. Yeah, she lies on her starboard side. Um, both of the dives get super sharky. We get lemon sharks there, bull sharks all the time on the Duane. You can pretty much guarantee it. Oh, wow. I think I've dove it probably 200 times, and one time I didn't see bull sharks. Um, and lots of life on the wreck, lots of schooling fish. Um, unfortunately, they sank them in a really bad position on, on the point of Key Largo, so it catches quite a lot of current in the Gulf Stream. Uh, but they're fantastic training dives. If you haven't done a diving current, they're actually a relatively safe first diving current to do because it's kind of you can hide from the current on the wrecks. Um, and just super fun. You know, you can pretty much guarantee good visibility year-round. And, um, and just, you know, really interesting to be able to do the same shipwreck in two different perspectives. Wow, that, that sounds pretty cool. I'm going to have to, there's a, there's a ton of wrecks down there, and those are your favorite, huh? Yeah, absolutely. We, we're sport for choice. Uh, so many wrecks off the South Florida coast. I actually have um, one of those tourist maps you can buy that lists all the wrecks. And we've got, like, just off the coast of Miami, something like 300 shipwrecks. Um, so they have a real strong program of either scrapping ships out there that have been nicely prepared um, we've got you know aircraft carriers you already mentioned the Oriskany and so on uh, as well as a whole bunch of military vessels so a great variety of different wrecks to dive um, in terms of artificial reefs I think Florida is pretty much leading the world um, yeah you've got you know Truk Lagoon and all the all the war graves of the uh, the naval battles of the Pacific but in terms of artificial reefs and, and training dives Florida's Florida's really got it going on that's awesome. So do you, I know you do a lot of instruction courses or whatever, do you do guiding as well? Yeah, absolutely. We do private guiding. Uh, people can come and dive the wrecks with us, absolutely. Um, I do a lot of, out, outside of just training and doing courses, we do a, uh, a whole program on just personal coaching. So it's just 
hey, I'm already a diver, I just want to get better or just, you know, want someone to buy some gear configurations or set up and trim. And we'll do that as a guided dive. So we'll just basically, I'll be your personal buddy for the day, help, you know, go over your, your gear setup, your configuration, brief you on whatever dives you want to do and go out and guide you around the wrecks and, uh, and point out all the features of interest. And I think people really enjoy that kind of aspect. Yeah, sounds awesome. And it's a great place to do it. So I'm sure everybody's already following you, but I'm going to uh, put your link to your YouTube and your your website in case they want to go down to Miami or that area and go diving with you. Appreciate so, it. Thank you ever so much, Justin. Thank great you so much you. for your uh, recommendations, too. You're welcome. Anytime. All right. See you later. See you now. Bye. Yeah. Subscribe.